the failing circumstances not withstanding until the truth triumphs. Truth will always triumph. <laughs> truth, light will always triumph over darkness. You are fully persuaded of the truth. This is God's word. It can't fail. It's settled in heaven forever. God cannot deny himself. You are fully persuaded like Abraham was. Being fully persuaded that what God has spoken is also able to perform. And so God stepped in and he, he performed. At 100 years, Abraham had a son. The prevailing circumstances notwithstanding until truth. Second Corinthians 2 14. The word says, Now thanks be unto God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ. And make it known by us the servant of his knowledge in every place. Truth can never crash if there's someone that will be fully persuaded of it. I have zero fear about tomorrow, zero. Trading the truth brought us to where we are. If we won't stop trading the truth, we can't be down. It's not possible. There's no day darkness will arouse anybody walking in the light. <laughs> walking in the light keeps darkness away on its own. Darkness can dark. There is no cross on it that can challenge the authority of light. Nonsense. What is light? What is light? You move now, you visual, you visual away. You won't exist again. Truth will always triumph. No matter the number of enemies against it, truth will always triumph. Truth will always triumph. So faith is being fully persuaded. Fully persuaded. Fully persuaded. I remember my wife said she had miscarried. I was in from a mission field. And I said, it cannot happen. Can I have my food, please? There was no cross check. Now how do you now feel? You can't feel anything more than what I said. <laughs> being fully persuaded of the truth until the truth triumphs. I was so rich when I had no money. You know, you understand that? I, I was so rich. If you hear me, even if you are led by God, you will say, well, do I need to give anything to this man? No, no, no. I've never led anything from any man. I have assets, direct, direct assets to source. I'm a good thing here. How? Truth. Truth. That you are fully persuaded of. Fully what? Fully persuaded of. Not that they are persuading you. Fully persuaded. You are fully persuaded of. Someone is coming out of trouble. Now, be fully persuaded that these horrible days on earth is your most honorable days in God's agenda. How many have what happened last night? That's the good news. The screaming days are your golden days. These turbulent days are your triumphant days. These beggarly days are your days of plenty. Get fully persuaded of this. It will put you to rest. It will put you to rest. Somebody's story is changing. Come and give the Lord a big hand of praise. What is faith? Faith is a display of confidence in God until when the desired result is obtained. Verse 36 of it, please. For ye have need of preachers, that after ye have done the will of God, 
you may obtain a promise. A display of confidence in God until what is desired becomes a reality. A display of confidence in God. I can never be poor. You are so rich.
34. Through faith, the subdued kingdoms. They wrote righteousness. They obtained promises. Stop the mouth of lions. Quench the violence of fire. Escape the edge of the soul. Or out of weakness. They were made strong. They were straightly as in fire. They turned to flight the armies of the aliens through faith. They subdued kingdoms. God's enter my genius for his child to subdue kingdoms. Amen. For the child to become the breadwinners of the world. The global social center of the world. It takes faith for God's people to subdue kingdoms. We stop here this morning. First, be prepared to buy into the treasure of the truth by subscribing to what it demands to keep it alive. Amen. Faith is a living force. It has to be kept alive. And faith feeds on the world. The world feeds on love, hmm. which translates to your faith. So we, we have to take responsibility. Sir. The cheapest way to move the hand of God is put your faith on the line. The cheapest way to put <laughs> to secure the hand of God is to put your faith on the line. Who had believed at the board and not only the arm of the Lord revealed. You believe he's searching for his hand to perform. There is no prophecy that will see the light of day without faith. Believe it. <laughs> There's a big performance. Performance is limited to those who believe. It doesn't go to everybody. Not everybody. Uh, those who believe. Luke 145. If we ever need that faith, it's now, sir. Faith for gallant exemption. Faith for triumph in the midst of turbulence. <laughs> Faith for abundance in the midst of scarcity. If there's any time we need to build our faith to secure the hand of God, to distinguish us from these stormy times, it's now. In your quest to keep your faith alive and growing, alive and growing, Alive and growing. Stand to your feet. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Come on now. Give the Lord praise, everybody. Lift up your two hands and give. God thanks. Give God thanks for light that has been shedding across our way since the first session began in this hour of visitation. Thank Him. Thank Him for your takeaways. You're taking some things away from here. Thank Him for your takeaways from this feast this morning. Thank you for your takeaway from this feast this morning. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name. I'd like you to do something tonight by the prompting of the Holy Spirit, please. Put your feet on the line and bring here a written form. Whatever thing you believe that God is up to. Anything. You have that inspired statement I made years ago. Whatever God can do, faith can make happen. <laughs> with men, it's impossible, not with God, but with God, all things are possible. But if you can believe, all things are possible to him that believe it. Whatever God can do, faith can make happen. Will you say that with me? <laughs> One more time, sir. Now, can God do that thing yes, that appears to be lingering in your life? Yes, what 
whatever God can do, your faith in God can make up. Erubiana, Tangelo, Erudia. My God. Some fellows we see clearly tonight. From stone blindness. Stone blindness. Some folks will walk out of their wheelchairs tonight. Whatever your God can do, your faith can make happen. What, what if they believe not? He abides with you, cannot deny himself. Whatever your God can do, your faith can make happen. They have said you can never have a child. That's what they say. You know, thou shalt serve the Lord, he will bless your prayer and water. Are you serving God? No shall be barren, no because they are young in the land. Hmm. The name of your days I will fulfill. Are you scared of death? Have they given you a death verdict from any hospital? Come down tonight. And put your faith on the line. And in the name of Jesus, whose I am and whom I serve, he will sort you out. You are coming out in bright colors tonight. You will turn the mockery of your life to glory. You will turn your reproach to honor. your story tonight. It shall be a full-blown miracle service. So come ready. Come ready and see God turn, overturn your obstacles to miracles. Your trials to testimonies. Tonight's encounter night is designed for you. God has you in mind. Put your faith on the line. And you'll be glad you did. <laughs> Someone here came um, in our robots meetings and um, after the crusade, he has the healing room where he prayed for people that have special needs. And after I finished praying in this room, he was going. The man called and excuse me, all right? I came here to be healed. I'm supposed to be here today. You know, I'm not uh, coming back tomorrow. I'm supposed to be here today. <laughs> ah, man, today. Today, today. Today, today. My God will answer me today. Today, today, today. Today, today. Jesus will answer me. Whatever you want answer today, put it down in writing. Whether spiritual disease or physical disease or social disease, whatever you want Jesus, you believe he can handle tonight. Come along with your faith. He will confirm it in your life. Don't believe that. Let me hear your loudest. Amen. Somebody's spiritual life will take a drastic new turn tonight. Somebody's social life will take an upward turn tonight. Your physical state will be perfected tonight. Lift up those two hands, everybody, and give God thanks. Give Him thanks. What a day! On the third day, we raise us up. He's already starting doing that. The word is lifting us. Give him thanks on personal note, on personal note, on personal note. Thank you for light, Jesus. It is God who has shown us light. He's the one behind it all. Give him glory. Give him praise. Magnify him. No one like our God. Thank you, thank you, Jesus.